Hey, hello, and welcome to this video. In this series, I want to share a little bit more about real life examples of living your design. And I'll be sharing about my own life and my own examples, and maybe sometimes also about clients. So in this particular one, what you see here is a connection chart. And a connection chart is basically um, a trans org chart. So this is what you get when you have two designs and you um, put them together. So you lay them on top of each other and that then this rolls out. And as you can see as well, you see purple and green colors in the gates and the channels. And the purple one is the um, one of the projectors. So it's the design of the projector. And the green one is um, my design, which is a manifesting generator, of course. So why am I using this example? Well, first of all, because I had a really nice um, experience together with this projector and um, I thought I'd share it while also explaining the mechanics of what was happening in that moment while we were together um, in Aura and um, well we weren't even in Aura it was actually on the phone but still our energy came together and it's really interesting to look up these connection charts as well with maybe family members or um, with people, other people in your life or colleagues or your partner, of course, or friends, and to see what happens in the design. And of course, there's a lot to talk about, but um, yeah. What, what, it, what you're basically looking at and what you can visually see here as well in a connection chart is that there is like a new entity. So together you are a new person. And of course, when you are by yourself in your own aura, then you can experience your own design, only your own design. Um, but when you are together with an other person, then you become this connection chart. And then suddenly different um, expressions can come out or maybe someone is bridging something in your design. Maybe you have a split in your design and maybe someone else is bridging that. Um, or suddenly they bring definition that you don't normally have. So that means that you, for example, suddenly you have a defined heart center uh, or a defined root center while they are normally open um, and undefined. So it's really interesting to, yeah, to watch that, to observe what is happening with different people in your life because they can bring out different things. They can also trigger things within you, of course. But also, there can be, um, yeah, new energy together. And what I want to emphasize today in this particular chart is the electromagnetics. Because there are three different types of um, connections that can be revealed when you lay two charts on top of each other. And electromagnetics is one of them. And I'm not gonna go into the others today. But what happens in an electromagnetic is that you have one gate that comes up of, of the center and the other, so one person has that gate and then the other person has the harmonic gate. So it's the gate on the other end of the channel and then together they create the whole channel and how you can see that in a chart in this example you can see it below in the in the root center you can see that i have the gate 58 uh, from the root that points towards the left on to the spleen 
And then the other person, the projector in this design, has gate 18. And that one is purple. So you can see that together we create that channel of judgment, the 1858, which is all about correcting things and making things better. And the other um, electromagnetic here is the 48 and the 16, which goes up to the throat, which is in the same stream. It's in the same, um, the same circuitry, which is all collective. It's in the um, collective, the logical collective stream, which is all about patterns and correcting things, making things better towards the future. It's, 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 it's about logic and about experimentation. And you can see in that channel, I have the 48, which is about depth and um, problem solving, being able to give solutions that are making things better towards the future. It's part of the same stream. And then the 16 is the gate of skills. And the projector in this example has that gate. So together we create that channel, which is the channel of talent. So um, yeah, we have that together. And then the projector has, as you can see, from the throat to the Ajna, she has the 6217, which is the channel of acceptance, which is all about organizing, um, bringing structure, um, it also has to do with opinions and details. And this channel is also part of the same stream, which is the logical circuitry on the, on the left side of the body graph. So, why I wanted to point this out was because we were, when we were talking together, um, it was really interesting what happened because she was giving me guidance as she naturally does because she's a projector and specifically in her design, she was giving me guidance um, with that channel she has to, of an organizational being and she was really able to help me structure something. She was giving me feedback on something I've cre I created and it was really helpful and really, um, yeah, it was really valuable that she could guide that energy. And because of our connection, because of the electromagnetics, we were able to have the whole stream. So from the root, all up to the spleen, via the spleen, the center of intuition, we were able to, um, to yeah, the, the whole stream was able to connect. So we were having the drive, the energy to, um, to correct things. We would, we, know, we would know instinctively because of the, the connection to the spleen, what was necessary to change, to correct in this example of the product I created. And then we could also come up with solutions and then being able together to express that and then change it and then do something with that. Because I brought the sacral energy, of course, as well, and the willpower and, and everything. So I would, was able, as a manifesting generator, to bring that energy. And she was able to guide that energy and bring her wisdom and organize and structure what we found that could be corrected. And it was such a beautiful example and such an interesting observation of this particular energy and what was happening in um, when our two designs came together and what happens there in the electromagnetics. And it can, um, yeah, it can be really interesting to watch that in your own life as well, what happens when you, um, you have two charts together and the electromagnetics, they can really feel as well, they can feel like um, like a pool and 
yeah, it's, 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 you can literally feel it because it's like the opposite attracts, right? That's, that's where this whole phrase also comes from, or you can relate to that. Um, because when you look at the gates, one gate in a, in, in a center is always kind of, mm, well, it's kind of looking towards the other, towards the other end. And for the whole energy to flow between the centers, it needs to have the harmonic gate. Because if you only have one gate, then you have, yeah, you have part of it, but you cannot um, fulfill the whole energy of the channel. So you need the other person to bring that energy. So in this, so for example, for the gate 50, 48, um, excuse me, 48, the depth, I cannot bring, I cannot express that depth without the skills of someone else. And in this case, this beautiful projector brought that energy um, and together we created that particular energy. So I brought the depth and she brought the skills and the enthusiasm. So my depth would would be able to come out and ex would be able to ex be expressed through the throat and manifest itself. Um, and what can also happen in, in uh, the electromagnetics is that you really feel drawn to someone. And that is basically what, what you can see in this, in a chart. If there are a lot of electromagnetics in your uh, connection chart, then yeah, it's, it's, it literally means sparks. There's something happening. There's a, this pool uh, energy and um, yeah, it's not necessarily like great or good or, um, or sexual in a sense can be though, but um, yeah, it's just an attraction because someone has something that you don't have, but it's because you connect, you complete each other in a sense, you complete the energy so it can flow. Um, so yeah, that can be re experienced as that the other person completes something in you. And especially if you have a split in your design. So I'm a single definition. And that means that if you can, if you look closely at all the, um, the green, channels it means that i that all my energy flow so the <clears throat> the life force energy in all my channels it's all connected there is no split there's no um i don't need a bridge in my design all the energy is connected and it flows through in one um stream but if that's not the case in your design, which is the case for the projector, you can see she has like two different islands. Um, if you look at the purple one, she has one island that is the throat to the ashna, connected to that channel I just described, the 1762. And then the other island she has is the spleen to the root through the channel, the 30, 32. Um, 54 and then the other channel that connects that is the 4130 to the emotional center on the right side so the root the emotional and the spleen are the other island on the bottom of her design and those two islands they are not connected so she has a split and <clears throat> um, in this case her split is bridged by my gate 48 so what is also the case here is that she, um, yeah, she could experience a sense of wholeness. And because I bring the energy of the 48, she is able to connect her mental activi activity to the rest of her design, so to the other part, to the splenic connection the root and the solar plexus. And 
yeah, that can that can bring you with this feeling of wholeness. It can bring you maybe that clarity um, <clears throat> because she is able to express that intuition and that energy that is coming from her root and also the energy that's coming from the solar plexus via the root. So there's a lot happening here. And um, yeah, if you are a split, it's, um, yeah, you need these other people. You need people who are bridging your split to gain that clarity. And in this case, there's a single split. Um, so then the split is also the place where you are, where you can be most conditioned. In opposite of the centers, which are the open centers, which are the, yeah, the main conditioners for me with a single definition. <clears throat> so the pitfall here is that if you have a split with one or two or several gates that can bridge that, it means that you are very vulnerable to conditioning in those specific gates. And because you kind of need those gates to bridge your whole design and because you think that these gates will complete you in a sense, which they do kind of, but because of that, you, you are, you can mentally um, become very, uh, yeah, restless in a sense, and you, you will be mentally looking for that energy. And that can drive your decisions then. So for example, in this design, what can happen here for the projector, <clears throat> let's take the 48 as a bridge, it can be that she feels, or her mind is telling her, that she needs more depth. If only she would have more depth. If only she would be able to um, have more depth and be able to problem solve, have solutions, then she would find success and then she would feel complete and then um, she would feel a sense of wholeness. So she can be very prone to making mental decisions out of that place and out of those stories that our mind is telling her. But in the end, that's not what we are looking for here. And that's not the, or her authority, of course, because it's solar plexus on the right side. So, but that is what can happen when you have that split. But the beauty there is that if you follow your strategy and your authority, then you will meet the people who will bridge these splits, but in a natural way, like it happened in this particular example when we came together. And um, yeah, it was a really beautiful conversation we had. It was super valuable for, um, yeah, to receive that projector guidance and uh, her wisdom or whatever she has been observing, what she saw. And then together we were able to correct and um, see what, what, what needed perfection and what needed uh, which solutions were needed to, uh, yeah, to make it even better product and to improve it and to share that towards the future with others to make life a little bit more joyful and pretty. So, yeah, that was a really awesome experience. So... I guess that's it for this one. Hope to see you next time in another video. And um, yeah, have a really nice day.